After the skiing stopped, Vale went to battle with COVID-19. I had this splitting, splitting headache. Nadine Lobert didn't know it at the time, but she would soon test positive for coronavirus. I couldn't taste anything, couldn't smell anything. Just days after the first COVID-19 case was confirmed in the state in early March, Nadine says she contracted the virus. A test later confirmed the diagnosis. More than a month later, she's healthy and wanting to help. I feel like I can finally do something. It's actually starting to make a difference. Nadine is one of the first recovered COVID-19 patients in the state to donate convalescent plasma. I wanted to be able to help anyone I could. She put out a call in the newspaper to see who else in Vail may have also recovered. Her list of people wanting to donate their plasma is now more than 50 people long. Vail Valley is such a small community and everybody, bless their hearts, wants to help. People wanting to donate must prove they had a positive COVID-19 test and must be recovered from all symptoms for at least 14 days. Convalescent plasma has great potential to help critically ill patients. So many people in Eagle County are eligible to donate plasma. The blood donation nonprofit Vitalent is now planning a collection drive there next week. Just knowing that you've had it and you have antibodies is such a relief. Nadine is organizing an army of recovered COVID-19 patients. It's a rewarding feeling. Um, and it just fills up your heart. An army that could save lives. In Denver, I'm Mark Salinger, 9 News.